welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to use ChatGPT 4.0. That's right, 4.0, the new version on how to create clip art for your platforms, whether you're selling on Etsy or different platforms. We're going to go over how to use the ChatGPT 4.0. So you want to stick around to the end so you can see my full workflow on how I actually use ChatGPT 4.0 and also how does ChatGPT 4 and 4.0 difference in image generation as we continue to go through this video. So as you can see here, I am working on an African-American self-care clip art set and this is the prompt that I use to get inside of there. So we're going to go over prompting and how I actually come up with my prompts and different things like that. But first, what I love to do is I love to browse the Internet, especially Etsy. Etsy is one of uh, my top favorite choices and looking for clip art. So when you go on to Etsy, you want to go ahead and go to Etsy.com, ETSY.com. And you want to go ahead and search for I like to search for whatever it is that you want to create. So for me, I like to look at the Black Girl Clip Art just to see what is already on the market, to see kind of what's going on and what people are selling in their stores. So as you can see, it's sorted by the most relevant. It has over a thousand plus reviews. And I love what I see, right? Like uh, Black Girl illustrations are really beautiful. I love the way that it looks. Obviously, I love the melanated skin, the different skin tones. So I am on here, like here. I love the Nubian knots look uh, so nice. Like I love the versatility of different hairstyles. And I just look at different things and I'm like, okay, like this is beautiful, wonderful. And that's like, if you want to create your own clip art, you can certainly do so. So I always like to go here just so you can just gain some inspo. So for people who may not be necessarily creative, that's totally fine, right? Like you can totally go on here and just see kind of like what other creators are actually doing, just like the theme of different things. And then you just come up with your own theme. You could also use ChatGPT, which is a good thing to help you come up with different themes for your actual clip art. So you could use prompts such as like, hey, ChatGPT, because you're going to talk to them just as if they was your friend, right? Help me come up with uh, 10 digital clip art creations for a Black girl reading clip art set. You know, whatever it is that you want to do. So as you can see here, you have Black girl reading, you have um, empowerment, you have cowgirl. There's just a plethora of different things that you could do. Father's Day is coming up. You have Juneteenth coming up. So there's a bunch of different things. You have self-love, self-care. So obviously, y'all know that I love self-care, self-love. I think that is so important that you take care of yourself. But you definitely want to stay away from anything that is copyright or trademark. So as you can see some things in here, this is, looks like Greek, but you can actually see the Greek letters. So unless you're an authorized vendor like Disney, all of those things is just like a big no-no. So you definitely want to stay away from those. If, obviously, if you're using it for personal use, that's something different. But if you do plan on selling it commercial, you definitely want to stay away so you are not getting hit with a cease and desist letter. So I'm just going going through and you can actually get more specific if you want to. So like I said, I'm going to do some self-care, self-love. So as you can see here, you have rollers, just different looks, right? And you know what self-care and self-love looks like to you. So it's very easy to come up with your own prompts and different things like that of like what you want to embody inside of your illustration. So I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to go ahead and search for black girl self here and it'll already come up. You can use an incognito browser, which is basically a private browser to actually look through stuff. But as you can see, this is going to give me all the results of where people actually include some type of self-love, self-clip art inside of their keywords. So here at the top, these are all the stores that are running ads. So typically I will go down and just seeing what is organically showing up. And when I say organically, that means what's popping up without an ad being ran that's showing in here. So obviously you have people in their pajamas, bathtub, like all these different scenes, right? So whatever self-care looks like to you, I'm sure that is probably along the lines of what self-care looks like to, you know, other women around the world, right? So 
you can use those problems. So obviously I really love that. Like I always love like a facial is nice. Like roller set is nice. Obviously like wine and just all those different things. So as you can see, these are definitely self-care images. So after I'm done browsing and like I said, you may not even need to get any inspiration because you might know exactly what it is that you want to do. But I always say, if you're going to sell on Etsy, you definitely want to see what is working and what is not working. You want to see who's showing up on page one because that's where you should really want to show up. You want to show up on page one as well. So I love to see kind of what's just showing up under self-love. And I typically pay really close attention to the first page because that's the goal is to always be on the first page. So just looking at the mock-ups, like what attracts your eyes? Like this is super attractive right here. Like I love it. Like you want people to be drawn to the actual art that you're creating. So after you're done scrolling, you get inspired, like you want to head over to back over to chat GPC. And like I said, for the first prompt, I'm going to do a watercolor illustration. And watercolor is just a, a, a type of art. And I want to basically do a facial mask, like I said, and wearing voluminous curly hairstyle, right? So it's just volume, right? Um, a robe, suggesting a self-care pamper routine. And again, I'm just talking to Chad GPT, like telling it exactly what I wanted to do. And I don't want it to cut off the hairstyle. I typically put that into quotation marks because sometimes they will cut off the top of the hairstyle. And obviously I always do a white background, which I'll explain why. Because when I move it into Chad GPT and I want it to be a transparent background, meaning like no background, it's just easy for when I remove the background for me to just have a white background in the back because it just makes the image come out perfect without it messing up the actual, you know, color or coloration inside of the image. So this is nice. Like, I love it. Um, I did yellow because obviously it's getting it's almost summertime and yellow is a beautiful color. Um, and I love yellow. Like, yellow means so many beautiful things. So that is what I did. And as you can see, a lot of uh, these images are beautiful. And you can also check out the link below uh, for the Etsy store that is going to be left below. There's lots of beautiful images inside of that store as well. So you could definitely check those images out too if you want to use it. So now I just come up with different things that I'm thinking about when it comes to self-care. So the next image that I want to go into is just like a uh, makeup, right? So just beauty in itself. So I asked it to create a watercolor again because I'm keeping the theme the same of like this whole watercolor illustration look of a charming yellow makeup basket filled with beauty beauty accessories. Now you could put whatever you want inside of the basket, but for me, I wanted some brushes, some bristles, you know, a powder, color palette, you know, different face cloths and different things like that, just to be a full basket of makeup, right, of what it is. So I wanted to have an elegant look because obviously I wanted to be nice and soft and a nice look. So here it is. Is Here's what it actually generated, which is not too bad. I love it. And obviously, if you don't like it, I'm going to go down to show you some more illustrations that you could do. And if you don't like it, you just simply hit the regenerate button. So just follow me, follow me, follow me. So here's another one. Um, and then I included some yellow and pink. I'm loving the combination. Here style is like a bob, right? So I asked it to give me a black straight middle part lace front. So obviously, ladies, we all know what the middle part lace front is, right? Just giving a sense of peace and contentment, right? Um, a hot pink sleeping mask with yellow silky elegant, um, elegant pajamas, right? Because this is just the type of look, right? Silk just makes your body feel good. And that is also something else. And then I actually went ahead and did it without the pink outline. And I just replaced the words. So she is wearing a yellow sleep mask with a yellow silky elegant pajamas with matching slippers on her feet. As you can see, it did not give me any slippers on the feet. And I just want to show you the other images as well. So obviously it's not perfect. So this one doesn't have any arms. Now this has longer hair. Still, it did not give me any matching slippers. This one had an era. And then this was the first one, right? So you would just simply go ahead and like, let's just say I wanted something else. I could just hit this regenerate button here and it would just regenerate me a different image. So chat GPT is going to think, 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 think. It's going to then come to a image, right, as it's circling around. And we're going to see what we get next. So a lot of times I just like to go ahead and copy, right? So this is something different. Not too bad. As you can see, 
her hair is kind of like underneath her arm not so bad and we can erase that right with some editing skills but mm, let's just say we wanted to change it and we'll just regenerate it now I'm going to go ahead and do just kind of gear up for a different prompt. So a lot of times if you don't want to come up with a prompt like all over again, you can actually just utilize the same thing. And keep in mind when you actually copy it, you are actually copying the the generation image ID. So a lot of times the images will look very similar to whatever the GPT is prompting when you copy and paste it versus if you just go ahead and just write out an original prompt here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it just for time's sake, because I just want to show you how you can actually change around. So I'm going to just change around her here and I'm just going to do instead of uh, not there. So I'm going to change the hair color to maybe like um, a brown um, curly middle part uh lace front hairstyle right so i'm gonna just keep the scene uh so let's just say she is wearing a let's change let's see what she's gonna wear uh so let's just say she is wearing a yellow uh silky elegant pajama dress with matching slippers on her feet. She is standing up and I have full body. And as you can see, it's still not doing full body. So maybe sometimes I could change full body to the top, right? Um, so let's just say creative watercolor illustration of an African-American woman with, uh, let's just say, let's just put full body in parentheses. Let's just do it at the top and see if that changes anything. Sometimes you're just going to play around and change it around. So I'm not changing much here. Uh, just the fact that I really want to see a full body with some slippers, right? And also I changed her hairstyle from it being black to brown and also from straight to curly. So we'll see what the actual chat GBT 4 o gives me. Okay, so a little bit better. As you can see, I'm getting more of a full body coming in. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I like this. Obviously her hair now went from straight to curly, as you can see, still having that middle part brown here um, and then I'm going to also regenerate so I will regenerate the image again and then once I have enough images uh, ready to go let's just say I want to be able to sell these into a pack like sometimes chat GPT does this right like this is not the type of illustrations that I want so I would simply just put a thumbs down you could actually write an illustrate you could actually tell it more and then I would just regenerate it right and it will typically take it back to the original um, generation image ID of the look that I'm going for which is more so of a watercolor look not so much of the cartoon so as you can see now we finally have some slippers in place and they gave us three images instead of one, which is cool as well. So you could just keep regenerating. Then I'm going to show you how to actually upscale the image and then bring it into Canva as well uh, once completed. So sometimes you could do this in reverse order, but for, uh, oh, okay, perfect. Here's some slippers here and it's a nice gown. So I love it. Definitely giving me a piece of contentment and different things like that. So I'm going to go back and let's just see which one do we want to actually bring into. Let's just see which one do we want to download and upscale. So I'm going to download this one. It's going to go to your downloads folder and then on your computer. And I'm going to find another one to download because then I'm going to go ahead and upscale the actual images. So let's just find a different one. Uh, let's just upscale this basket. All right, so now I have two of the images upscaled. So I'm going to go head over to bigjpg.com, which will be linked below as well. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder, wherever that is on your computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up both of these. And I'm going to click the start button. Now in the free version, which is what we're using right now, I always do four times and then the highest. And then I also click start four times in the highest here. And then I click OK. So now they're both going to upload and generate. And while it's doing that, I'm going to let it work its magic. And since we have some more time, let's head back over to the site and let's just start to make some other images. So 
I'm gonna just go ahead and do um so we'll keep the so we'll change it so we'll keep the black uh and we'll do again let's do curly long let's do curly long right um and then same thing she is wearing a let's just take out the sleep mask and let's just do she is wearing a yellow silky elegant pajama set let's do a set this time um with matches of his her feet and what else can we say oh let's say she is holding a glass of wine in her hand right so let's do this she is standing up full body do not cut up and let's do this one right so again let's just see with the wine and while that's working we're able to do that and then we'll go ahead and look at two to see if there's any differences in chat gpt for four towards the end uh to see if there's any difference okay so i really like this as you can see her hair is cut off just a little bit uh but i do like it again it doesn't give me the full body which uh chat gpt is not perfect sometimes you have to play around with the prompt sometimes it gives you the full body sometimes it doesn't and i'm going to regenerate again and while that's regenerating, I'm going to check here. All right. So these are downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and download now the updated version. And sometimes the files are too large to bring into Canva. So I always like to actually bring it into the Canva workspace first and then re-upgrade them as the last thing. But because I'm going to show you for the video, you know, kind of both ways I'll go about doing it then that'll be fine so i like this one i don't really like her fingers too much we'll go ahead and regenerate this and see what's going on in reference to this so we're going to regenerate the image again but i do like those images and we'll just see if we could get some better uh fingers for her fingernails because uh, i might have to add that in right i might have to add in like something that i noticed so See, this one has be better fingernails and you could just simply just get rid of these uh, images on the side. But I definitely love this image. I love the hair. I love the sense of sensation and all of those things and her fingernails look better. So I'm really loving this set. So now I'm going to head over to Canva, canva.com. And I'm going to go ahead and go to um, upload. Now, when I go to upload, I'm going to go to choose files and I'm going to choose again for my document. So as you can see, the last two is the most recent one. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. And this is the most recent file that I had. I'm going to click use this new design and it'll pick up the size. So it's a 4096 by 4096. And the reason why you utilize this is because and this is the custom size. I'm going to hit create new design, this purple button is because this is the actual size in which the original image is sized in, right? So 4096 by 4096. Now I'm gonna bring in the new designs. And as you can see, I do have the Canva Glow version, which was available to the first million users. So my workspace might look a little different. As you can see, I'm gonna do another video. And if you're interested, let me know below if you wanna see me do another video on um, the features and what has changed inside of the new Canva system. So on the side, you would usually see this here. Obviously, they've taken that away. So you can just see the full workspace here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uploads. Uploads is the same way. When you go to uploads, you'll go ahead and upload to where it is that you want to go. So I'm going to bring in um, this image here because that way I'll know which ones are the ones that are upscale versus not because I definitely want to show the difference in why it's important to do the upscale before I do the background removal. So now I'm going to bring in the other two images that were not upscaled, right? So we can see the difference. So these are the two that I did in the beginning that were not upscaled. So I needed to do that first so we can see, and this is going to be page three, and then we'll have page four. So page three and page four, you will see the difference in the images. And I'm going to go here just to move them next to each other so it's easier to see. Sometimes it's really hard to tell the difference, but I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So as you can see, the face here is much more smoother and clear um, when you upscale. And here you can see it's a lot more grainier. The neck is a lot more grainier. And then I'm just going to go back and forth so you can see. See, like a lot of that grainy, and that's what I just call it, right? Grainy space is out. And same thing, same thing with the basket, right? You can see it's harder to tell with like 
elements, but you could definitely see a little bit of the difference, but it's a lot harder to sell with elements versus images, but you could see the color is what you really look at. So look at the handle of the basket here versus the handle of the basket here. So I just wanted to make notice of why I always upscale my images because it's just such a much better look when you actually upscale it. Now, both of them looks really good because I mean, this still gives the watercolor effect because watercolor does have that grainy kind of effect, but I just like to, you know, upscale it a little bit. So again, I will go ahead and go in and I'm gonna simply hit that ground remover. You do have to have the Canva Pro version. So anything you see with a crown, you have to have the paid version and you definitely want to look at the restrictions and licenses on the paid version. And basically what happens is, is when you remove the background, now you can freely move this design without it being a white background in the back. So you would be able to do that, right? So we'll go ahead and just, shrink that down and you can move it up as well right and then you would just go ahead and then I simply just remove the background of all the images and you'll save it as a png file so you'll go ahead and click share which I'll show you how to do that and then now you'll be ready to go and upload your clip art whichever way you like so let me remove this background and just show you like once you remove the white background then you could go in and just change the color. So let's just say I wanted it to be on a green background for whatever reason. Let's just say you were making something and you wanted it to be on green. You won't have that white background in the back anymore. You see, that's why it's important to take off that background remover because now you could change the background to any color you want without having that white show up in the background. So really like this color with this together. So as you can see, and then I'll just show another example. I don't think I removed the background from here. So just to show you, if you keep the background on, obviously it's, you're going to see this white space in the background. So that's why you want to go ahead and remove the background off the images. So when you're done, obviously I, I always just keep it a white background with a transparent. I'm going to go ahead and go up to the top to share. And when I click on share, I usually download it as a PNG. Some people do download as a JPEG. Um, I typically do PNG because I do a transparent background. You can deliver your images with a white background and a transparent background, totally up to you. But also I want to know, I also want you to know that you can select pages. So let's just say you have a bunch of designs, but you only want pages one, two, and three, or maybe you just want pages one and three. You would just unselect all and you would just write the pages that you want. So in this case, I just want pages one through two. So I would just click done, right? So I'm just gonna do page one for now. And I'm gonna simply download this and it's going to go into my downloads folder. And I'm gonna actually download this and it should have done it with a transparent background and it will open up into another browser or whatever it is. Sometimes it'll open up into a browser. Sometimes it'll open up um, just right into whatever design program you have, whether that's Paint, Illustrator, wherever you have it connected to go. In this case, it's going to open up right here under Photos and you will see the final look of what it looks like when it's downloaded. And obviously I have other videos as linked below on how you could deliver your clip art to your customers, which is in a PDF file with the actual Google Drive link. So that video will be linked below on how to actually get your photos to your customer, your clip art to your customer. And as you can see here, there is no background on the image. And this is the design for the clip art self care with yellow silky pajamas with a facial mask. And I'm really loving the look. So you would just simply go in and upload the rest of those illustrations inside of your chat GPT. Once you have all the illustrations that you want, you will go ahead and do that. And don't forget to go to bigjpg.com in order to upscale your images. I believe you can only do two at a time in the free version unless you upgrade to the paid version. But you would just simply go around and change it up. I always like to include elements. So you can include elements such as a robe or just different things that you feel like relates to self-care. In this case, I did a uh, makeup basket filled with beauty accessories. So you would just continue to prompt ChatGPT and talk to ChatGPT like it's your best friend, right? And you will get a whole clip art illustration set. I will leave some prompts below. And trust me, self-care is definitely a great, great thing to sell on Etsy. So no gatekeeping here, giving you all the game. 
Remember to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget, if you want to grab images like this, go ahead and grab it from the store below, um, left below for the Etsy Black Girl Bloom art. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what other videos you want to see in the future and comment below on what you enjoyed most about this video. Again, don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. See you all the next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.